Hey, what's up guys? This is Vimal here and welcome back to TRHD. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make a tiny awesome bug robot. So to make this bug robot, these are the components you'll need. You'll need a vibration motor. This vibration motor looks like this. It has a half cut flywheel at the top and is very easily available everywhere. You can purchase it online on eBay or you can also get it at your nearest electronic store. You can find this vibration motor even in your old cell phones. You'll need a 9 volt battery. You'll need a sliding switch to turn on or off the bug robot. I'm using an SPST switch as an on off switch. You'll need two LEDs which will be the eyes of the bug robot and this is a 100 ohms resistor which is used to protect the LEDs. It actually acts as a current limiting resistor and these are the two copper wires which are used as the legs of the robot and you need few wire pieces. So these are the components. So let's start making the robot. First take the 9 volt battery and apply some glue on it. We need to fix the vibration motor onto the battery. Take the vibration motor and hold it firmly over the glue so that it will stick properly. Just like this. Now after that we need to apply glue once again on 9 volt battery. So apply glue over here and place the on off switch over there and hold it firmly so that it will stick to its place. Now we need to solder the wires of the vibration motor. Solder the negative wire of the motor to the negative terminal of the battery and the red wire of the vibration motor to the center pole of the switch. Now use this piece of wire and solder it to the other end of the switch. and solder the other end of the wire to the positive terminal of the battery. That's it, the vibration motor has been soldered to the switch and the battery. Now we need to connect the LEDs and the resistor to the battery. This is a 100 ohms resistor. Solder it to the center pole of the switch, just like this. Now take the LEDs, we need to solder them. Solder the cathode of the LEDs to the negative terminal of the battery. Both the LEDs should be connected in parallel. And solder both the ends of the anode to one point. Now take a piece of wire and solder it to that point. The other end of the wire should be connected to the resistor. Just like this. That's it. The soldering part has been done. Now let's test it. Yep, it's perfectly working. Now let's connect the legs of the robot. Take this piece of copper wire and bend it in a shape like this. We need to glue it to the body using a glue gun. It's very simple right guys. Just make sure to hold the wire firmly so that it won't move while sticking it to the body. Now similarly, attach the another wire piece to the body. Bend it in the same shape as the previous one. Apply glue over it and stick it. We are almost done guys. Now we need to shape the legs so that the robot can move properly. So shape them like this. Just watch carefully because shape of the legs is really important. So the tiny bug robot is finally completed guys. This is how it looks after assembling it. It looks really cute right? 
so just have a look at it now it's time for testing let's test it let's switch it on it's perfectly working the LEDs and the motor everything is running now I'll show you the schematic diagram of this mini bug robot this is the schematic diagram so you can see the negative terminal of the 9 volt battery is connected to the negative terminal of the vibrator motor and the positive is connected with the help of a switch to the plus of the vibrator motor and these are the two RGB LEDs which are connected in parallel the anodes are connected with the help of a 100 ohms resistor to the plus and the cathode is connected to the minus of the battery that's it it's very simple now it's time for testing guys let's test the bug robot whoa this thing is unstoppable that's awesome Enjoy your bug robot guys, it's very simple and easy to make, it can be made under a dollar. So thanks guys for watching my video, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe and stay tuned to my channel for more new awesome videos.